Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexVault.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. So currently we're looking at the 5 minute chart of the most traded Forex pair, the Euro Dollar. What we're currently seeing is a 5 time tested bullish trend, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is currently being tested for sixth time over here, right over here. We decided to shoot the video now because we assume that the price action might actually intend to un interrupt the trend and initiate a bearish move. The reason for this is that the last big tops on the 15 minute chart, one, two, three, the last four tops lay on the same bearish line which the price action might be using to bounce from, initiating a fresh new bearish move. This means that the blue bullish trend line you see over here might get interrupted real soon. This is why if this happens, we will try to tackle this situation with a short trade attempting to catch a price decrease toward the support level located at the opposite side of the resistance level through the price action stops. So we have one bottom here, second, third, fourth and fifth. If we assume that all these three lay in the same support area, one, two, three, four, five, there is no reason not to believe that the price action will not decrease again to this level meaning that if the price interrupts the blue bullish trend line we will have all symptoms to believe that a bearish run toward the purple lower purple level is currently appearing on the chart as you see we got right on time and the price action is currently attempting to interrupt the blue bullish trend. On the one minute chart, we see that the breakout is already a fact. However, a one minute breakout is not enough to enter a short trade in this case. And for this reason, we will wait for the five minute period to finish in the next few minutes. And when a candle closes below the blue bullish trend line, we will short the euro dollar placing a stop loss order above the highest point of the blue bullish trend somewhere above the upper purple level and at the same time we will place a take profit order somewhere before the lower purple level the other interesting thing is that the two purple lines uh, form something like a triangle pattern but we still cannot say for sure what kind of a triangle is this because the lower levels of the price action are kind of inconsistent and they are not as they are not as uh, as consistent as the tops which almost lay on the absolutely the same level as you see the the upper purple line contains the tops in a better way than the lower purple line which goes through the bottoms of the price action we have like a couple more minutes until the period is finished and if the period closes like this we'll confirm the breakout through the through the blue bullish trend line which will trigger our short trade in this case. As you see, every time the price action interacts with the upper purple level, we have a decrease to the lower level, like here, and like in this case over here. So there is no reason for this not to happen again and since we're following statistics in forex trading and in technical analysis 
we will short the euro dollar on the five minute chart anticipating a price decrease to the lower level of this of this triangular pattern Let's zoom in and let's prepare to open a trade because the period was just finished. Right over here, the breakout is a fact. We short the euro dollar. Oh, it appears that new quotes appeared. Sure, we need to requote, sell again. Okay, the short order is a fact. We place a stop loss order at 1.0626, looks uh, like a level which is fine, 0626, 0626, let's see if we can put the stop loss order that tight, because it's not sure, okay, the stop loss order is okay, let's put it a little bit higher so it will contain the upper top over here. Yeah, this will be better, just, just in case, to be sure. This way we contain the first top over here, as well as the second top, which makes the stop loss order even more secure. And now, let's put a take profit order at 1.0606. Okay, so we have all of our levels on the chart. Let's mark the entry point approximately at 0 1.0620 approximately. So in case the stop loss order is uh, reached, we will have the, the approximate parameters of our trade on the chart. Okay. Take stop loss order stays at. approximately at 1.0628 approximately these are just approximate parameters in case the price action hits the take profit order and closes the trade when we get back uh, with the further price development later in the video we will be able to analyze the levels on the chart and the take profit order at 1.0606 marking it with white over here okay now let's pause the video for a while and get back to see how the price action is going to develop in this case will the target be reached we're gonna know this in a while okay guys we're back a little bit more than three hours later to see that the decrease after the bullish trend breakout is a fact and as a result of this the price action has reached our target um, at the lower level the lower purple level let me show you over here hitting our take profit order which was located at uh, zero, uh, 1.0606 right over here 0606 which uh, triggered uh, our trade exit and closed our trade uh, on profit uh, which made the trade 100 percent successful as you see the price action reached the lower purple level just uh, just for a short period of time and then bounced upward again causing slight price increase which means that the price action might now pursue interaction with the upper purple line which creates opportunities for other trades on the chart at the same time our stop loss order remained untouched at 0 1.0628 1 so we sold the euro dollar forex pair in the moment when we 
when we identified a five minute candle closing through the blue bullish trend line, which happened after a bounce from the upper purple line that connects the, the most recent price tops on the chart. Here, 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 and here. Because we assume that the price action will decrease. And we shorted the euro dollar at 1.0620. And we closed at 1.0606. Uh, this way we generated profit of 14 pips. Which is approximately 0.1% uh, profit of uh, the amount we invested from our buying power and uh, this trade was a very good example how to trade trend breakouts and at the same time how to trade uh, bounces from resistance levels because uh, after all when the price bounces from a level no matter if it's a support or a resistance it is very likely that the price interrupts its previous trend and starts a contrary impulse like in our case creating very nice trading opportunities short trading opportunity at the euro dollar chart in our case so thank you very much for watching this was damian from forexbolt.com i'm looking forward to see you on the next live forex trading session and until then i wish you happy trading